comfort and discomfort are what motivates and shapes the behavior of a horse. Um, the third is play. Horses are really social animals. They like to kick, strike, bite, chase. All of that stuff is fun for a horse with another horse. So understanding how your role is played um, with a playful animal is, is important because that is another motivating factor of a horse. And then obviously the fourth is food or the necessities for survival, food, water, that sort of thing. So understanding um, that the relationship between you and your horse, you need to be viewed as the the part of the pack that actually, the part of the herd that actually provides that for the horse. So the horse understanding that he can come to you for comfort, safety, play, food, all of the necessary pieces of survival. Um, it's really important piece of understanding how to actually speak horse. Fantastic. Um, one thing I think that some people might be thinking, the majority of, of our listeners are beginners, but there are some people who have been around horses for 10, 12 years, uh, and they still feel like they're a little bit frustrated with their attempts. So throughout this call, for those of you guys who are listening, we're going to give examples of exactly what to look for while you're out in the field and how you can uh, uh, adjust the 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 techniques or the approach that you've been taking so uh stay tuned and we'll we'll keep uh i feel like a radio announcer stay tuned and we'll be <laughs> right back you've got the voice for us <laughs> um what are some of the the unchanging horse characteristics or communication techniques uh, that can help us better understand how to get into our horse's minds it's I just I feel like I'm so redundant in a lot of this information because it really is just so basic. I mean, it's the same techniques that people have been using for centuries to get the the same results and there really is no magic behind it. It's just it's understanding how your horse's mind functions. Um a few tips I guess. Uh one thing to remember is horses are creatures of movement. They live through movement. In the wild their very survival depends on movement. Um they also learn through movement. So being that movement is such a huge portion of how horses learn, breathe, live, everything, um, I think that it's really important to understand how not only the physical movement in terms that we think about, okay, you, um, your horse is moving forward, you can get your horse to move forward, you can get your horse to move backward, in not just so much in that type of movement, but also in the energetic movement. I always feel so froofy when I talk about this because it's very 